ever feeling lucky for St. Patrick's Day, you might want to check out one of Hawaii's oldest Irish pubs. Dallas on the joins us live from Murphy's from downtown with more of a preview of their big celebration. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, Ross and Christine. So in the last half hour, I just made a mistake. I wasn't wearing any green. Hello, St. Patrick's Day, only five days away. So of course, I had to get my last minute green. And you can too, if you're either heading to Murphy's this weekend or if you're gonna have fun at the block party, you could check out any of these merchandises right here. And something that's really cool is that this pink Murphy hat, actually 100% of the proceeds goes to the Susan Coleman Foundation, which helps with breast cancer awareness. So that's really cool right there. Now, here joining us still is Mr. Murphy. Murphy with Murphy's Bar and Grill. Thanks so much for joining us here on Take Two. You bet, Dallas. Good to see you again. Awesome. So we've been having such a great time. The last half hour, we were actually in the cook, uh, the kitchen, cooking some lamb shake, which right. we're gonna try right now. But we actually have a lot to show you. So let's get right to it. So with these entrees right here, let's st step over here. What are we looking at? This is the corn, corn beef, beef cabbage. corn beef and cabbage. I mean, one of the popular items this weekend. Right. Tell me, is there a secret recipe or a tradition you follow, or you can't really mess up on this dish? <laughs> well, I've always said the, the secret to uh, good corn beef is boiling. Boiling water. So, boiling yeah, water. just buy good quality corned beef and we put some spices in it and fix it up a little bit and, and just have at it. Mmm. I mean, it's still really good. Very tender. How many dishes, I'm sorry, how many dishes do you make this, this weekend? We'll do, uh, we'll do over 2,000 pounds on Sunday of corned beef. So, it makes, you know, a couple, three, about 3,000 orders. Mm. 3,000 orders, no big deal. All right, well, that was delicious. So let's move on to this right here. Now, are you going to join gotcha. me on this oyster you bet shop? If you'd like some. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. why, why are oysters so popular for St. Patrick's Day? Uh, it's, they're just really popular in, in Ireland, and, yeah, and in general. And so they make it uh, it's a great, fun thing to do. Nice. And it's, uh, we, still, we go through an awful lot of them. So. And it, do you, can you usually eat it with a shot glass, or is this yep, something? Just a shooter. We usually put a little dollop of uh, cocktail sauce in there if you like. Yeah, can you put some in mine? You bet. I'll, I'll, I'll squeeze some lemon in yours. Okay. We'll work together. Cool. It's a family affair. There yes. you go. Yes. To St. Patrick's Day? St. Patrick's Day. There we go. Lovely. <laughs> it's good. All right, let's move on to this right here. We were just preparing this in the kitchen the last half hour. This is the lamb shank, right? Raised lamb shank, right. Okay. And um, what's special about this again? Can you explain to our viewers again? Well, it's just, it's a, it's a, there's lamb sold all over Ireland. Of course, it's a real, real staple over there. So it's, we just make it up and it's just, it's different. You don't go to get lamb shanks anywhere, you know, very, very often. It's a popular dish, but not a lot of restaurants sell it. So we'll do about 300 of them on Sunday. Mm, lamb shank right here, popular dish. Very good too. You know what? Everything's so tender and so rich in flavor here. Is that just something that comes with the uh, Irish entrees? I think so, yeah, yeah. And you know what? With so much to choose from, you got to save some room for dessert. Mm -hmm. And we have a selection right here, and there's also a special story behind these pies because your wife, Marion, if you're watching, Marion, we've been talking about you all morning, how you book, how you bake hundreds of pies leading up today. Tell me, what pies are we looking at? Well, we've got our key lime pie here. Mm -hmm. And then our Bailey's cheesecake, and then our Irish whiskey cake. Which one has to be your favorite? I hope you don't uh, get in trouble. Probably the Bailey's. The Bailey's. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try a slice of this right here. Mmm, it's so sweet. Yeah, she'll make about 800 desserts for Sunday, so. 800s, and you need some Irish coffee to go with it, exactly. right? Exactly. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> awesome. So something that we found off camera was this photo of the first St. Patrick's Day here at Murphy's. And I just thought it was really cool to just kind of show this on camera, but let's see if we can get a shot of this right here. Can you explain the first St. Patrick's Day at Murphy's right here? Oh, it was just, just inside. We weren't out on the street or anything. It was really uh, very, very fun and a lot, of, a lot of fun. I had a lot of friends over from San Francisco, which is where I came over from, the Bay Area. And uh, it was great. We had a, just a ball. It was very surprising, the turnout we got. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, a, a lot of the things that are in this photo still stand here today, 30 years later, right? Yeah, except my hair's gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's but, not a bad thing, though. A lot, of, a lot of the other things are still here. 
Awesome. Well, that just says it all, everyone. You're going to have so much fun if you plan to coming either to Murphy's Bar and Grill or to celebrate at the block party. It is a family-filled event. You're going to find a lot of things for the kids, a lot of food to eat, and maybe some things that you never tried before like we just did right now. Terrific. Anything else? Do you want to wrap up? No, nope, just everybody enjoy yourselves, and if you're going to go out and celebrate, please take Lyft or a cab or whatever, but don't drink and drive. Oh, really quick. You guys actually have a 20%. Um, right. Lyft, if it, for Lyft customers, you get a, uh, there's a discounted rate. Okay. Coming and going to the party, so. Do they have to enter a code? Yep. Murphy's 19. Thank you. Murphy's 19. Do not drink and drive, and Murphy's going to help you out with that. You Sending it back to you guys, Ross and Christine, with more. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. And St. Patty's Day and Murphy's go hand in hand. It's almost not complete if you don't go out to Murphy's on St. Patty's Day if you live in the area. Yeah, we actually went last week. And if you want a hearty meal, you go to Murphy's because you would be stuffed. In fact, and they have how his wife bakes the pies, yes. and so many were like sold out. So I was like super bummed. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, but if you want a hearty meal, that's the place to go. St. Patty's Day, that's a definite must. Mm -hmm. And it's on a Sunday this year, so more time, right? Yep. All right, still to come, a father on the mainland got a clever. Some